A strategic management is the process by which managers understand organizational goals, examine the future threats to, opportunities for an organization, identifies strategies for dealing with its threats and opportunities, ensure organizational capability to implement these strategies, and continually monitor the entire process. It is important because in that way the goals that are established for the company can be reached easily. Also help managers to keep focus on the goal. Be aware not only of the internal problems and strengths, also to be aware of the competitors. And help the company a lot because corrective actions can be taken if a problem occurs during the reaching of the goal. We consider the strengths of a strategic management, the communicative skills, the motivation, responsible, determination, empathy, experience, and lead by example. Because with this all, a thing can work better if he is a good manager and know what he's doing. It is necessary to ship always two goals every day. Keep our kids safe and achieve the integration of our kids in society. So we always have a very strict plan of what we're obligated to follow. As I am part of the staff member, I have more obligations than the other ones. Since we are working with kids with special needs, I need to be very responsible. To have the ability to talk with them so I need communicative skills and also so I can speak with my superiors. I need empathy so I can understand them and their difficulties like the wheelchair. Motivation because it is a very exhausting work, experience and credibility so the parents of the kids let their children with us and lead by example because now I am a member of the staff so the volunteers follow my example. What I do, how I treat the kids and how to talk with them. Because I have to work for some company in teams and make a project for them. I really had to demonstrate my skill and sometimes it was hard, but we improved our work getting all the information together and the work was easier for everyone. And I had a responsibility with my team and with the company as well because we had a deadline to deliver the project. At school, it's where most of the time you have to practice your skills by doing teamwork and trying to help others by being a good leader. I especially do this when it's a topic or a work that I'm really interested in. In the styles of leader, we have the autocratic leaders that tends to centralize authority and derive power from position, control of rewards, and coercion. This is also like Theory X of McGregor, where employees that like to work and must be controlled direct. It also exists the democratic leader, is the one who delegates authority to others, encourages participations, relies on subordinates knowledge for completion of tasks, and debates on subordinate respect for influence. Then, the delegative style, the leader allows the employees to take their own decision, but still the leader is responsible for the decision made. This is more like the white theory of McGregor, where employees are commitment to objectives and have self-direction. Our goals as future strategic management is to open our own business, improve our leader's skills, be an strategic management successful, and be able to take the best decisions, consider the team and the goals of the company. Created using Powtoon.